All right, guys, today we got Red Bull in the paddock first. What I did is I maxed out the power on this setup, and um, I'm actually going to fast forward through this lap. Didn't get any penalties, anything. Ran a pretty good lap. And this was the max power setup. This is in the Red Bull, level chassis 14. And we're going up from there. Now, what I did is I went back into the paddock. I switched out most of the parts for mostly legendary parts. I tried to put legendary parts, as many as legendary parts as possible, where it still makes sense. All righty. And we came out to about 1414 on power, 936, uh, that is, 938 on lightweight and the power difference from 1551 it makes up for an acceleration and grip like this thing has a lot more grip and acceleration is a little bit better now you see in the corners how i'm catching up on like little tents here and there in the corners it's catching up with them and this is a pretty good setup i like it all right now this is what you're gonna have to make a decision on guys do you want that flat out speed to where you have less room for error in the corners or do you want something that's not as powerful in the speed department but more agile in the corners a lot quicker in the corners you see how i caught up like that if i wouldn't press the brake i probably would have either caught that time or been ahead all right now, I think this is a more balanced setup. The 1414 on power and 938 is a lot more balanced, has all legendary parts. Each tier has a legendary part in it. And I do have some research and development on epic parts and they're up there in the level. So I kept them on there. We did increase, uh, we actually, we got a better time, a slightly better time with more legendary parts on that setup all right now we got the ferrari in the paddock hooked it up with all legendary parts first and this all legendary setup is going against the all legendary red bull setup all right so max power is out because the legendary setup for red bull uh, beat the max power setup in the last corner so this setup is all legendary on this ferrari all right, mostly all legendary parts, as many as I can put on there that makes sense. All righty, and you'll see the gap is just, that gap didn't get no smaller that whole lap. I fast forwarded the lap and the lap time was, it was like more, 23,947 almost. So what I did is I took off some of the legendary parts and I made it so it's a max power. This is a max power Ferrari setup. All righty, max power ferrari setup we only got 1409 on power but we got 1052 on acceleration and as you can see it is a little bit faster out of the jump the red bull setup i don't know why f1 mobile uh whatever car you're in it gives that same skin to your ghost i i, I mean it's nothing to really cry about they don't have to fix it but because i know you know and you should know but for video purposes, it would be cool if it was a Red Bull. But I digress. So with the mostly legendary setup on the Red Bull, the 1414 power setup, he's still in front. All right. And this is a level 15 chassis on the Ferrari. But as you know, the Ferrari set up a little bit different. All right. Got a little shaky right there. <laughs> Got a little shaky, but I pull in front. This is with the level 15 chassis on the what 1409 setup 1401 oh man it's really small i can't even tell 1401 setup and 1052 on the lightweight and you see the last corner got a little shaky but i still held on to it and it prevailed came out on top all right best time 122 938 knocked a couple tenths off almost damn near a second just switching up your setups guys now, I guarantee this is going to change once we get to a wet track or a track that has more flat out speed or a track that has more turns. So I hope this helps, guys. Hope you have fun. Comment down below, guys, your setup.
comment where you're from. Comment how long you've been playing. I want to know everything about you. I want to know everything about my fellow racers. Because if I see you on the grid, it's up there, my guys and my girls. Hey, I got nothing but love for you. Until next time, guys, I'm out.